Welcome back to Portfolio, everyone. And in this video, we're going to discuss the huge news headlines coming from Workhorse. Workhorse stock has been crashing today, down over 7% today alone. And in this video, we're going to go over their most recent news headlines, talk about what sent the share price surging over the past few days, and then discuss now that we've seen the stock crash over 7%, if now is the time to jump in and buy this company. So Workhorse is, of course, the electric vehicle company who creates electric delivery vans that help with that last mile of delivery. They have some recent news headlines that really show the potential growth for the company, and they've been forming some new strategic partnerships with massive manufacturing companies that will help them reach that next level. So Workhorse stock is down over 7% today. Big decline in share price after we saw rapid growth over two days. Workhorse made some big news announcements, announcing their new strategic partnerships with Hitachi, and that led to a massive run-up in share price. After that news was announced, we saw a 23% growth in share price in a matter of two trading days, which was absolutely incredible. Then today, on the one-day chart, you can see a massive decline where shares are giving up some of those gains. So investors may be locking in some short-term profit, selling when the price was high, and now we are seeing a decline in share price. So is now the time to jump in and buy Workhorse? Is it attractive at its current price point? In this video, we're going to go over their most recent news headlines, discuss a little bit about the company, talk about what they're planning for the future, and then overall, hopefully this will help you determine if now is the time to buy WKHS. So thank you for tuning in, everyone. I am the Gen Z Investor, and as you know, we post videos on this channel every single day about the stock market. We talk about different stocks you can buy, overall stock market performance, and like we're doing today, we talk about big stock market news and headlines. So in this video, we're discussing Workhorse. This company has seen a rapid surge over the past year, up 378% on the 12-month chart. One year ago today, you can buy a share of Workhorse around $4. It even dipped to around the $1 to $2 range, but has seen a massive surge over the past few months where it reached an all-time high at around $21 a share, stayed flat over the past couple months around $15, $16, but as we've seen over in the past five days, a massive run-up in share price. So we're going to evaluate the company, go over what analysts are expecting over their future growth, and just determine if we like this new strategic partnership and the future expectations for Workhorse. So this new deal, Workhorse formed a strategic partnership with Hitachi. And essentially what this deal is, is Hitachi has been manufacturing products for over 50 plus years, and they're going to provide their operational excellence to Workhorse in order to help ramp up their production to reach a level of sustainability that can help this young EV company flourish over the long term. So in this agreement, Hitachi will provide an operational assessment of Workhorse's manufacturing, operational, and supply chain capabilities. They're going to benchmark it to the best-in-class standards and provide recommendations to Workhorse that will help support the company's increased production requirements. So Workhorse needs to ramp up production. We're going to take a look at their latest Q2 report to determine if we like how much the company's actually already produced, which isn't much, and their future outlook on what they will be producing in the upcoming quarters, and of course, the company over time is going to have to booster up that potential to output vehicles if they want to succeed over the long term. And Hitachi, this strategic partnership, is going to help them do just that. So Hitachi is going to leverage their smart manufacturing, data-driven digital solutions, and EV technologies in order to help grow the company and improve their operational and their production manufacturing processes. In addition, Hitachi is actually going to assist in developing a national dealer network, which will support workhorses sales and vehicle financing options for both dealers and customers, which of course can hopefully get new people into the business, different companies who are not even thinking about using workhorse with Hitachi's partnership and the idea that they were actually helped with the financing options for both dealers and customers. Hopefully this expands workhorses potential market. So Workhorse, of course, manufactures and produces these electrical delivery vans. And what these vans are built for is for that last mile of delivery. So in a world where people are spending more time shopping online and spending less time going to physical retail locations, the need for efficient delivery vehicles has only been surging. And that's what Workhorse does. They don't produce an everyday consumer vehicle. They are solely focused right now on these electric delivery vans. And they're built specially made in order to make the delivery process much easier. 
They have lower steps for the driver to get in and out easier. They have special custom designs to make loading and unloading packages more efficient. And this is what the company's focusing on, that last mile. They're not the company that's going to distribute your product across the a couple of different states. They're the company where once the product has arrived at its final processing facility in that home state, they will be the one that delivers it from the facility to the individual's home. That's what they're focusing on, and they have a potential to get a large USPS contract. They're in the works right now. We haven't had seen a final decision on that just yet, but this new strategic partnership where Hitachi is going to help out with their manufacturing and operational processes, that kind of gives investors a little more courage and you know reassurance that if they are awarded the deal, they can fulfill the order operations because they have such a strong, proven, best-in-class manufacturing company helping them out with that. Next, we're going to take a quick peek at their financial statements to see what they're expected to do over the upcoming quarters. So we know what they're doing right now. We know they're working on production. Let's see what their financial statement shows with regard to how they've been performing. So in Q2 2020, they delivered three C-Series electric delivery vans. That are these vans right here. This is the C-Series vehicles. They delivered three. Very unimpressive right now. Of course, this company is still very young, but we want to see those numbers grow. And what they said was, even during this period of economic slowdown, where a lot of businesses don't have a lot of free cash to just be spending on you know upgrades of their vehicles, they still they actually reaffirmed their previous production and delivery target of 300 to 400 vehicles in the last six months of the year which is absolutely incredible. They went from delivering three vehicles in Q2 and they reaffirmed their position that they believe they will deliver three to 400 vehicles by the end of the year. So I believe if this company can do that, that will show great first growth. That'll be their first kind of surge in volume above like the 10 to 15 vehicle mark. And I think that'll be incredible to see if Workhorse will continue to do that. And I believe if they announce vehicle deliveries in those hundreds or $200 range, um, volume range, I think the share price will see a nice surge once again. Of course, some other big things with Workhorse is that they actually own a 10% stake in another electric vehicle company that is going public. Lordstown Motors is building an electric pickup truck called the Endurance, actually developed by Workhorse. So Workhorse was the one that actually designed and developed this vehicle, and they actually are licensing the rights to Lordstown Motors so they can produce the vehicle out of their own facility. Lordstown will be the only company making that vehicle in that pickup truck style. And Workhorse has some benefits for doing that. They actually own 10% of the company and Lordstown Motors has a valuation at around 1.6 billion right now, meaning that Workhorse's ownership in Lordstown is around worth $160 million, which is absolutely incredible. And of course, they actually do have some royalty deals so that once Lordstown Motors starts delivering and selling those vehicles to customers, Workhorse is actually going to generate some revenue and take a percentage from each vehicle that is sold, which is absolutely incredible. So they do have that benefit where if Workhorse can succeed in that electric delivery van market and Lordstown can succeed in the pickup truck market, Workhorse is going to benefit from both because they're taking a little piece of Lordstown's revenue for every single vehicle that is sold. And if we take a look at that, this is a SPAC, a special purpose acquisition company. When they go public and when the merger is complete, Lordstown Motors is going to actually be trading under the ticker symbol RIDE, R-I-D-E. But currently, if you want to buy into Lordstown, you have to buy Diamond Peak Holdings Corp, DPHC, which of course has seen a massive over 5% jump today alone. And over the past month, shares have been a huge climb, up over 45% in the past month. So Lordstown Valuation, they own 10% of this company, has continued to grow as this company has continued to surge. So overall, this is another interesting play by Workhorse. I think this is one of the EV companies that actually may succeed over the long term, only because they are not focusing on what a lot of other EV companies are doing. Most of the EV companies on the market are competing in that consumer space. So right now, the big brands who sell the most vehicles in the world, they haven't fully transitioned to electric vehicles just yet. They all have one or two models of their vehicles that you can buy as electric, but they haven't really developed and come out with full lines where they have every single model in a bunch of different varieties in all electric styles. Once that kind of happens, I do really do believe a lot of these younger, small EV companies won't be able to compete. Right now, investors like these young EV companies because the traditional, the more established car brands aren't competing just yet, but it's estimated by around 2022, 
when all the more well-established brands in America are producing more EV company, EV vehicles and selling them, that the younger EV ones that don't have that market dominance and brand loyalty just yet are going to kind of see a lot of their doors closed. Why I think Workhorse is different is because they're not focused on the everyday consumer. They're driven towards businesses and they're in a growing market. As the online delivery and online shopping world grows, which has only been seeing double digit growth each and every year, the demand for Workhorse's electric delivery vans is only going to grow. So I think Workhorse is a company that's positioning themselves well in a growing market, in a growing economy that is only going to see sustained growth, I'm going to guess, for the next 10 plus years. So I think Workhorse has a strong position can actually grow. If we take a look at some price targets over the short term, first one we have shows a 12-month price target for Workhorse at around $24 a share, which represents a 30% upside, a close to 30% upside in its current share price, which might make this attractive during this dip that we're seeing today. And we have a nice another price target shows the median or the average price target at around $26 a share, but from analysts. That represents a 39% upside from its current share price. So two different analyst reports all have kind of optimistic average views for share price over the next year, and they all show at least a 30% upside potential in the company from where it is today. So that's Workhorse. They're the delivery vehicle company focusing on electric vehicles for that last mile of delivery. That's solely what they're focused on right now. They also have the drone option where a drone will come out of the top of the van. That isn't fully established just yet. They're more focused on the vehicles at its current moment. They announced that nice strategic partnership with Hitachi that I think is going to really benefit the company long term. And they saw a massive run up in share price where about half of those gains have been erased today alone. So now may be a nice buying opportunity for the company if you want to enter into the EV space. So thank you for tuning in everyone. I'm the Gen Z Investor and I will see you in tomorrow's video.